yeah, we were just getting ready to begin. Just going over. Last time we covered this, the first class we talked about what is a jumla to the mufida? What is a jumla mufida? It is basically a beneficial or complete sentence. We said that it has two or more words. It, it makes a complete thought. The listener's not waiting for any more, and it's made up of parts. And last week, we talked about what those parts were, which were ism, fail, and Arabic words do not go outside of these three things. We said that the ism is a name, a person, a place, a thing. Uh, an idea. The fail covers three time frames, and we're going to talk about that more this week. And the fail covers the past, the mavi, the present, which is the father, or be the name, and that the future. That's what we talked about. And then we said a har, every letter outside of that. A ism points to a place or points to something that does not have to do with time. No time. It doesn't have anything to do with past, present, or future. If I say Muhammad, it doesn't have anything to do with now or yesterday or tomorrow. If I say a fail, then a fail has to do with time. It points to something you can talk about, but it does not have to do with time. Or it does have to do with time, either past, present, or future. And the harf is everything other than that. Other than these two, and we said that the harp has no meaning except along with other words, right? Everybody remember all that? Everybody follow? No. See it. So now we talk about the fail. This is the fail of Mali, right? The past tense. Number one. Zubair, you want to read it? Jaral Kelbo. Jaral Kelb. Nam. Jaral Kelbo. Jara to run. He ran. El Kelb. The dog ran. Here, Jara is a past tense verb. Read number two. Who? Oh. You, Abdullah. I didn't hear you say nothing. All I heard is that read number two. Okay. Wakafarajul. 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 Rajul is a man. What did he do? He stopped. He stopped. Wakafa. He stopped. The man stopped. Man stopped. Yasin. Ah. Can you read number three for us? Can somebody just... my, screen, my screen is huh? still loading. Okay, no problem. From. Maharam, you with us? Yes, sir. Number three? I'm told 
your phone is your your your, your stuff is kind of breaking up. Ba al kitabu. Da al kitab. Da is to get lost. So the book was lost. Da al kitab. The book was lost. So you Repair. won't you won't carry it you won't carry it over like you normally do the al kitab. Yeah, da al kitabu. Yes. Okay. Da yadiu, is it? Da yadiu, naam. Dakka ti sa. Dakka ti sa. Dakka. means to reduce here. Basically, the the hours getting shorter. Dakka ti sa. The hour getting shorter. Yes, seen your screen yes, loaded yet? Eleven. It should be up on the screen. Everything should be on the screen of the yeah, application. That, page eleven is not loaded. I'm I'm gonna reset the inshallah. Problem, inshallah. Muharram or Abdullah rather. Jaatil bint. Jaatil bint. The girl what? Girl what? I guess Cain. The girl came, yes. And this cusser here is just for connection purposes. Connection. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I ask a number about number four real quick? Uh, what, what did what did mean what you said or is it is it the hour was shortened? Is yeah. it fast and okay. Same thing, though, I think. Just a different word. The hour was okay. shortened. The, the time, basically, the hour is getting short. The hour is... Mm. Muharram. Baba Tig Dajaja? No. Baba? Baba Tig? No. Baba? I egg. Bob the 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 judge. The chicken laid eggs. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. The whole purpose of this is maybe learn some vocabulary. As we said, this introductory stuff is real easy. The whole purpose is, is all these verbs are past tense. Now for some people how to conjugate verbs, then we should look at that a little bit. How do we do past tense? How do we do past tense verbs? What do you want to say? I, and then we'll do we. This is first person. First person. Man, I, I like. First. Right? And this is singular. This is plural. Then you have second person. Which would be you. But in English, we just have one you. In Arabic, we have you for masculine, you for feminine. We also have a you for plural for masculine and feminine. Whereas in English, we all use the same you. And then you have third person, which is he, she, they, masculine, feminine. So if I have a verb, we'll use fa'ala just because that's the 
the root the, that they use. Fa'ala means to do something. So that's basically a verb. Fa'ala. It's going to be the root is going to be fa'ala. It's he always. Fa'ala. He did it. If I want to do I did it, I'm going to add a. Fa'altu. Right? If I want to say you did it, to a man, I'm going to say, Fa'alta. What do I get? Hold on one second. Let me erase that there. That's wrong there. There you go. And if I want to say you did it to a female, Fa'al. E. I want to say you did it to a female, uh, to she did it. So she did it. Let. That's how you would say something. So, jealous to, jealousy, jealous, jealous. Akeltu, for I ate. Akeltu, akelta, akelti, akala, akala. And you should be able to, you should practice this until you're able to do that that quickly. So how you do uh, over here? Huh? How you do the he? He is fa'ala. Yeah, the, the root of the verb is fa'ala, the, the origin, called the jadr. The roots, then that is he. Okay. Everything builds off of that. Okay. So when we say jalasa, the verb for to sit, it also means he sat. When we say the verb for to drink is shariba, it also means he drank. There is no really a verb for to do something. Actually, all verbs are he did. Since, as we can see on our paper here, or on our chart here, that fa'ala, something added to it, and everything else comes off of that, then it becomes the origin. He did it. He has no additions to it. Whereas, Fa'altu, fa'alta, fa'alti, fa'alat, all those have additions. So the shortest, briefest possible version is he did something. Follow me, Abdullah? No, no. So if we want to say we did it, we say fa'alna. You guys did it. You to a bunch of men. We know this is real basic, but it's not going to hurt to go over it. You to a bunch of females. You guys did something. Or they did something, men. The kum, kum. Huh? Kum. No. Fa'alu. Fa'alu. They did it. So, so what is the kum for then? What are you saying? Kun is another verb. Kun is another verb. Kanu, no, kun. We'll get there. That's, that's a separate pronoun. You're talking about kun and kunna. That's a different pronoun. We'll get there. We have females did it. Females did it. Fa'al. Fa'al. Na. Na. Not fa'al na, like we, but fa'al na. Like we, fa'al na. So this is how you would see a verb. And this is something you can 
go on line and look up an Arabic verb conjugation chart and you'll find this picture or you'll find the actual PDF where you can see it. Where it says Fa'altu Fa'alna Fa'ala Then it even brings the dual here which I didn't bring because the dual is not used as much so I didn't bring it. You got Fa'ala Fa'alu Fa'alta, Fa'altuma, Fa'altum, because it has the dual here. So this chart is easy. It needs to be memorized. This stuff needs to be second nature to you. Because grammar is dealing with the changings that the, are not here, not on this, but on this too, on the ends of the words. Whereas this stuff that we're doing, kum and kunna and tum and tunna and all that, that's called sarf. We're going to add some of it here and there, but it's another whole science. Anyway, the whole purpose of this first page here was to show us that there are past tense verbs. The qaida, the rule, al fi'lul madhi. Huwa kullu fa'lin yadullu ala husulu amalin fi zamin al-madhi. That a past tense noun, I mean verb, I'm sorry, past tense verb is every verb which points or directs to the completion of an action done in the past tense. It's repetitive, but that's the definition. Past tense verb is a verb that was done in the past, right? Then you have another set of verbs. Fe'l mudari. It's also called fe'l hadir. Both of them mean present tense, right? Y'all seen did your screen load? You want to read yes. number one for us? Aghtilu yadaya. I wash my hand. Right? Zubair, number two. Albasu thiyab, thiyabi. Albasu thiyabi. I wear my clothes. I wear or I put on, I wear my clothes. Make sure we say albas. Albas is a different verb, same root letters, but different voweling. Albas means to be confused about something. So, albas and albas. Right here, albas. Number three, Ya Abdullah. Is that a, a no? Yeah. Nal atu bil. Nal aha. Nal ashinu. Oh. Bel abu. Ah. Bil kurat. Nam. Bil kurra. Kurra. Nal abu bil kurra. We play with a ball. Or the ball, al kurra, al kurra tul qadam, soccer, right? Kurra tul qadam, soccer, football. We play with a ball. Muharram. Namshi fil hukul. Nam namshi, we walk fil hukul. Hukul is the plural of haqal, which is fields. Fields, fields. Yasin, number five. Yan bahul kelbu. Yan bahu al kelbu. Yan bahu is. One second, I just had it. <laughs>
Yanbahu is to bark. I forgot. I don't hear I don't hear dogs, so I don't really think about it. Yanbahu is bark. Yanbahu al kalb. The dog barks. Present tense, right? Zubair. Yantabihul uh, Haris. Nam. Yantabihul Haris. Yantabihu means to pay attention. Al Haris is the guard. Yantabihul Haris. The he pays attention. The guard pays attention. He's aware. Right? Al Haris doesn't necessarily mean a security guard, even though that's what it means. As Yasin probably knows, living in the living in Saudi, that's a guy who takes out the trash and washes the car too, right? Abdullah. bint. Nam takulul bint. The girl eats. Um, wa Muharram Okay, um Taz Bilul Wardatu Taz Bulu Taz Bulu means to wither Right? Meaning, you know, when a flower starts to die, it withers, right? Crash, it starts getting wrinkly and, sh and shrinking and all that to wither. And the flower arose, right? The wither says bulu, it withers. Okay, so the important thing here is these are all pres present tense verbs, but let's look at them. This one, one and two, all began with a hamza. Right? This is an alif. This is a hamza. Whenever it has a hamza on it, it's no longer called an alif, it's called a hamza. When it puts a vowel on it, it's a hamza. Then these two have a noon. And these two have a ya. And these two have a ta. And even if we were to make these into dual, I mean dual or plurals, they're still going to have the ya and they're still going to have the ta. Ta kuluna, ta kulna, ya kuluna, ya kulna, right? They're still going to have the ta and the ya, even when they're plural. Even if they're feminine, even if they're plural, they're going to have it like that. So the additional letters that we have here are Nati. Nati is a way to help remember what they are. Nati, the Noon, the Hamza, the Ta, and the Ya. If it has these four letters on the front, it's a present tense verb. The Qaeda says, Al-fi'lu mudari, the present tense verb, huwa kulu fi'lin, every verb, yadullu ala husulu al-amali fi zemin al-hadir, which points or directs to the action which is done in the present tense, o al-mustaqbal, or in the future, because we don't have a separate verb for the future. What we will do is we will add seen or sofa in front of them or it will be understood that it means the future. But if we want to make the future, we're going to add seen or sofa. Sayakulu. Sayakulu, for instance. He will eat. Sofa yakulu. He will eat. Otherwise, we'll understand it from the context. So, the fi'l mudari 
is every verb which talks about the action done in the present time or in the future. Al Hadar O al Mustaqbal. Walabud and Yakun Mabdu and Biharf min Ahraf al Min Ahruf al Mudare. And no doubt it must start with a letter from the Ahruf al Mudare. That's these, not T. These are called the Ahruf al Mudare. Which are Al Hamza, Wal Noon, Wal Ya, Wal Ta. The Hamza stands for, for example, I'm not saying it comes from there, but from Anna. Anna, I. Nu, Nahnu. Right? The Ya or the Ta is from like Enta. Antum, I just did it first. Antum, Anta, Antuna, Anti. And then the Ya, it doesn't have anything to do with relations as far as letter, but Hua, right? Uh, uh, Tia is up here with the top. But Hua, Hom, Hunna. Right? So the ya is going to be third person. The ta is going to be second person, except for hiya. Hiya falls under the ta. And then the noon is first person, the aleph is first person. So every fail mudari is going to have to begin with one of these four letters. And that's also called the fail mustaqbil. Do we understand that? Or am I confusing anything? The Yasin is a stranger. Yasin, Understood. Yasin, Yasin doesn't know Abu Muawiyah doesn't know anything for real. We're just cooperating, right? Yeah, this is good. Okay. So now, if I want to say here, I do. I'm gonna say F I do. Af alu. We do naf alu. And then I want to say you do saf alu. Saf alu. Right? You guys do to a bunch of men. Saf aluna. Tef Aluna. Then you do to a female. This is the hardest one. Especially because unless we have like our wives who are trying to learn Arabic too. Or they already know Arabic. We don't have anyone to use it with. You know. <laughs> Tef Anina. The, the talking to a female is the hardest Arabic. And my wife, you know, she's learning Arabic here. So she's talking to females all day. So I'll tell my wife, Wayaka. And it's supposed to be Wayaki, right? And she'll come home and she'll tell me Wayaki. Because <laughs> she talks to females all day. So she'll talk to me in a, in a female uh, verb and I'll talk to her in a male verb. <laughs> so, Tafalina. That's the hardest one. Then here, Tafalna. You females did something, you're talking to a group of them. Tafalna. Tafalna. Okay, then Fala. You do. Yafalu. Yafalu. They do, yef aluna. You just same as in tef alu, tef aluna, yef alu, yef aluna. Then she does. This might be confusing to people as well. That 
it's the same as you do. It's the same as this one in the present tense. She and you to a man are the same one. You say tef'alu. Abu Bayan is here. Tef'alu. It's the same as you. For you do something to a male and she does something, it's the same conjugation. Then we say you to females, it's the same as we did here. Tef'aluna, tef'alna, yef'aluna, yef'alna. Yeah. Same thing we did there, we do there. That's our chart. We need to be able to know how to do that easily, easily, easily. Easily, we need to know how to do that. And then this chart will also tell us this. Right? It shows us this in the same way. Same way. F alu, tef alu, yef alu, yef aluna. Tef alu, tef aluna, right? Tef alu, yef alna, right? Tef alina tells us all that. Tef alna shows the same one chart. We'll have all of that, and then the same Abdullah. It has your pronouns over here too, right? It has your the mir al munfasal which are the separated pronouns and we have the demir al munfasal which are the attached pronoun or the mir al which are the attached pronouns so we have those and those as well as the present tense verb and then we got the command which is coming up in our page what's that uh the one where they got the for dashes and you know, what did that mean here no. This is because this is this is for the column of command verbs, like orders that you give to someone, and there is no order. You can't tell yourself you can't tell yourself to do something, and if you do, you're talking to yourself. You said so you would tell yourself, "Man, you shut up, Mustafa." Even though I'm talking to myself, I would talk to myself like you. I wouldn't say I shut up. You don't talk to yourself like that, you know. Say, man, you know what? You should have went to the store earlier. I told you to go to the store earlier. You talk to yourself like that. You don't talk to yourself. I told myself, you know. No. So there's no way to command yourself or him. I can't. Him. Say, hua. Where is it? Where is it at? Hua. I can't tell him to do something. Why? Because I'm talking about him. If he was present, I would be talking to him as you. But since he's not present and I'm talking about him in the third person, I can't tell him what to do. I can only talk about him. Do you understand, Abdullah? No. Okay. So these are, there is no command verb for he or them or they or she the com or I or we. The command is only going to be towards you, male. Email, singular, and plural, and dual. Abu Bayan, Cape Hanak. Alhamdulillah, No, him. Abu Bayan is. There he is. Are you from originally Abu Bayan? Uh, New York. Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> you must have it. Brooklyn, New York, mashallah. But he's in Egypt with us now. He's in Egypt. Okay. Now. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm late. Oh. Now we have. No, no problem, brother. It's Egypt. Y'all got a lot. Y'all are y'all behind us a lot time, so it's it's normal. Yeah. Okay, we got. The fail amr. The fail amr. Read for Zubair, number one. Il ab bil kurra. Il ab bil kurra. Play with the ball. It's a command. Il ab. 
Number two, Abdullah. At M. Kitta. 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 No. At M. Kitta. Feed your cat. At M. Kitta. Feed your cat. Muharram. Nazif Thiabek. Nazif Thiabek. Clean your clothes. Nazif Thiabek. Right? We notice that this has a fatta and this has a fatta because it's the object. Feed what? Feed your cat. Clean what? Clean your clothes. Right? Yasin, number four. Uh, can you go a little to the Move left? Move it to the left. This oh. way, this way. I don't know which way. Nam mu. Nam mubakiran. Nam mubakiran. Nam is the command for go to sleep. So basically, sleep early. Go to sleep early. Nam mubakiran. Abu Bayan. You got that Egyptian internet. <laughs> Read for us, Zubair. I don't know where he's at. Tamahal Fisair. Nam. Tamahal Fisair. Fisair. Nam. A sail is. You're walking. You're you're traveling. You're you're moving along, right? You're walking. You're traveling. You're moving along. Tamahal means to be deliberate. Right. Tamahal means to be deliberate. The point here is, is telling you, be deliberate in your movements, in your walking, right? In your traveling, be deliberate. Don't just, you know, be floating around, you know, doing anything reckless. Have a purpose in life, right? To my health is saying, Abdullah. Jit, mat, mat, ga, okay, at ta. Ta'am. Ta'am. Ajit. Ajit. Madga. Ta'am. Madga is a morsel. A bite. Right? Ajit. Madga. Ta'am. Find the morsel of food. You drop something, find the morsel of food. The whole purpose here is these are man verbs and we're gonna go over that a little bit in a second here it says amr, the command verb is every verb yet bihi it's requested or or ordered husulu shape the completion of an action fi zaman al mustaqbil so basically, a command verb is something which is requesting something to be done in the future. Even if it's immediately after I finish. When I say come, I mean stand right now. doesn't mean come later on, stand later on. No, come now. As soon as I said it, the future started. I said come, the future started. Stand up now, you understand? So fil amr. It's something, is a verb, or every verb which requests something to be done in the future. A past tense verb talks about what was done in the past. A present tense verb talks about the present tense or the future. And a command verb talks about something they want you to do in the future, even if it means immediately when I finish talking. 
Now on this chart, it shows it. But let's go over and find out how we do a command verb. We're going to take the verb tef'alu, because that means you. Tef'alu. You do. And we'll bring all four of them. Tef'alina. And I'm purposely avoiding the, the dual just because it's a little more complicated. Right? And if you get this, you'll understand that. Tef Alina. And we have Tef Aluna. Tef Aluna. Or Tef Aluna. Tef Aluna. Okay, this is you. Singular, masculine. We'll just, all these are you. Right? All those are you. So we'll, I'll take that one out. This is singular, masculine. This is singular, feminine. This is plural, masculine. This is plural, feminine. Okay? Now, how do we get there? What we're going to do is, <coughs> we're going to drop our tap. We'll do it over here. We're going to drop our top. And this is for three letter words. This is with with all the verbs are like strong consonants, not Aleph, Wow, and Yap. We can do those later. Let's get the basic down right now. The ones that have an Aleph, a Wow, or a Ya in any of those positions, first, second, or third, then they have a different rule, like Nem. Like the word nem, it comes from gnome. It or yeah, gnome. It's got a little bit different uh, ruling here. It's not gonna have the same ruling here. Same as hum. Stand up. It comes from kowama, right? It's gonna have a different. It's got a wow. It's weak. So it's gonna have a different one. So let's not worry about those right now. Let's worry about. Uh, the strong root words with like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace our tap with an aleph. Not a hamza, an aleph. So now we have we had tef alu. Now we have aleph fa'lu. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Dhamma and make it a Sukkun. We're going to have Aleph and Fal. Al. Now how do we know what verb to put here? I mean what, what Harakah? Do I put a Kasra or a Dhamma? It's not an aleph ever. We don't have an aleph, except maybe it's some exception, but we never have an aleph or a fata as the beginning letter. We never have a fata. Here we have what verb or what haraka, what, what vowel do we, that's why I keep saying verb, what vowel do we put there? We figure that out. Why is it a Kesra though? Because it has no hammer. No, it's Third a Kesra. No, because you do like this. You can put a Hamza like that. That's like Iman. They're saying when it don't have anything up there. Period. You just no. Don't go with it. No. You look at this letter here. This third letter. You got your Aleph, your Fa, and your Ain. You look at your Ain. You look at your third letter. If it's a fata or a kasra, then it's going to be a kasra. If it's a dhamma, then it will be a dhamma. So, 
we have tashrubu 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 we replace our ta we have shrub so we replace our dhamma so what do we know how do we put here ushrub because it has a dhamma on the third letter so then our hamza or our aleph takes a dhamma if it has a fata or a kasra then the aleph takes a kasra and it never takes a fata as i said unless there's some crazy exception so if it's a dhamma then it's a dhamma if it's anything other than a dhamma then it's a kasra but that's how we get there so now if i come over here and go to my chart and I say, and I replace my ties with a Aleph. I come up with if Al. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different for feminine. Talking to a female, and we'll get there. We say if. Okay, if. We'll, we'll just write that right now. My Dhamma here is represented by a noon. My Dhamma and my noon here are represented. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just like I drop my noon, I'm going to, I mean my Dhamma, I'm going to drop my noon. And I'm going to say, if Ali. So I just drop my noon. If Ali. So. Ush, ushrubi, ijlisi, right? Nami, you're going to add that at the end. Nami, ushrubi. So if we look back, back where's our, our chart here? Our, our uh, verbs here? Il'abi, at'imi, nazifi, nami, tamahali, ajidi. That's how it would be. Okay. So here, the same thing. My noon represents my dhamma. So I'm going to say, if alu. If a lu. Same as there, except I'm going to have to put a out of there to protect my wow. If alu. And then. If Alna. If Al if Alna. If Alan. I don't remember. This one I don't remember right now, right now. Give me a break. <laughs> You're not gonna be talking same? to a bunch of females. Huh? Did you say it was the same as the singular? I don't know. Abu Bayan, you got anything for me right now? My mind's drawing a blank on that. Uh I believe you had it correct. Let me see. We got. We can go down here. We got the chart over here. Let's see. If Ali, yeah. If Alna, yeah. I just, I, cause because it's the same. I, I was confused. I didn't drop anything like I did with these, the dumbas and all that. And I don't talk to a bunch of females, so I don't remember it. So anyway, that's how you get to. You're gonna drop your tap. And make it an aleph and drop your dhamma or what represents the dhamma and make it a sukun. So if ali, if al, like this. And it takes more work, you're not going to get it. The whole reason for us doing what we're doing here is we're not really studying grammar. What we're doing is, today we are, but normally we're studying other books and we're just taking one day a week to look at this grammar so that when we see what we see in books and when we have a little bit of explanation stuff will be clearer in the books we're not focusing on grammar because people can over focus on grammar that's my opinion that's what I was taught that people over focus on grammar and they learn all the grammar in the world and they can tell you what this is this is this this is that this is a fill this is a they can go through all of that stuff and then you ask them to read a book and they can't read a book 
So the best thing is to do is for us to read books and learn some grammar as we go. That's the same thing we did when we were a little kid. We read C Jane Run, C Spot Sit. We learn all those brief phrases. And then as our vocabulary grows, so does our ability to ha handle grammar. That's why all the grammar books are in Arabic, because they're for Arabs. They're for people who already know Arabic to fix their speech. Well, here we are trying to fix our speech before we even can speak. So that's the difficulty. Anyway, I got two minutes left. I can add a few minutes here. Uh, uh, I'm going to add five minutes. But I just want to go over the exercises for those who choose to do the exercises. Bear says, read the following phrases and pick out which of the verbs are uh, madhya, past tense, mudaria, present tense, and command. So maybe do it like that. Three, you know, whatever. Pick out which ones are past, present, and future out of those phrases right there. Then number two. Put before every noun, right, of the following nouns. After it, put a present tense verb, I mean a past tense verb, past tense verb, which is relevant or appropriate for this. So put a present tense verb after it, after it, right, after all of these words. And... The second one is put a, this one here is put a present tense verb. Number two, a present tense verb after every noun. Before. Huh? And here, put, put an appropriate present tense verb in these spaces. Present tense, appropriate, in the, in the dotted line area, the blank. And here are past tense in the dotted lines, right? Appropriate past tense verb. Then here we have come with five sentences. Everyone has or begins with a past tense verb. Begins with a past tense verb. Then everyone begins with a present tense verb. Five sentences. In five sentences, everyone has a command verb in it. And here, come with four sentences with a present tense verb. Uh, with each one having one of the noon, the hamza, the ta, and the ya. So come with four, but each one, present tense, but each one having the different ahruf uh, al Then... Write the following sentences, changing the past tense to the present tense. So, Sara Yasiru, Sara Yasiru, like that, right? Then, write the following sentences, changing the pre present tense to the past. Right? Yugharidu, Gharada, right? Then here, where was I at? Screen went up and down. Then here, change the present tense into the command verb. Right? Then here, <laughs> a lot of homework if you want to do it. You don't have to do it. No one has to do it. It's for those who want to benefit. If they want to take a copy of it or fill it in on a PDF filler form or something and send it to me, then I look at it. But no one has to do it. The purpose of this class on this day is just to become more familiar with grammar you don't have to like memorize everything our main focus is reading the books but we're going to take one day a week to learn some grammar rules to help us out in the meantime take the following verbs and make them into a uh, complete sentence with three or more words and bring five sentences having to do with the Acid with a lion, beginning with a past tense verb. Bring five sentences have to do with the the river, a river, right? With a present tense verb. 
and then bring five sentences uh, having to do with a student, right, in the school, right, telling the student to do something in the school, telling the student in the school to do something, right? And that's the, that's the, that's the lesson for today. If there's any questions, like I said, today's lesson for Abu Bayan and Yasin. We just take one day a week to go over some grammar stuff. There's nothing meant to be hard. You don't have to do the homework. The whole purpose is to just get us familiar with stuff that we're going to see as we read. We might have read something yesterday, and today we learn a rule about what we read, and it makes it clearer. We read something today in grammar rules, and tomorrow when we read from the actual book, it's going to make the book easier to explain because we have a little bit of foundation in that. That's all we're doing. If there's any questions, then I'm capable, inshallah, I will answer it if I am. Every, every, the book is, uh, that you're using is not huh? The book what? It's not <coughs> Yeah, Nahuwadi. No. Yeah. And this is just the basically third section dealing with the Fil Mabari wa Madi wa Mabari wa Amal. And next week when we meet to talk about grammar, we'll go over the file, the doer of the verb, inshallah. Like we just every week we're just taking a little chunk of something. Every week to make it easier as we're reading the books. The other five days a week, we'll be reading the Mutun Talib al -Ir. But one day a week, we stop to learn a little bit of something in grammar, not a lot. We didn't probably learn anything today except a little bit. And the whole purpose is just to make the reading easier when we do. Any questions? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, as far as feedback, I you know I was teaching the class, so I wasn't looking at the uh, chat down there. I'm sorry.